Hey guys, what's up? It's Super Fuji, and I'm back with another little chat. Haven't done one of these for a few months, not since, uh, you know, around uh, the holidays and before I came back from my little hiatus. Um, if you're new to my channel and you don't know why I took my hiatus, feel free to go back into my archives and look for the one labeled as Super Fuji Talks. Uh, it's a little heart wrenching and a little, uh, it, it's emotional. It's something. So, but it's, I had a good reason on taking a hiatus for a couple months. <laughs> Leave it at that. Uh, cause I don't feel like talking about it and bringing it back up in, uh, this video much. I will bring it up eventually. But anyway, why I'm doing another Super Fuji Talks? Well, I figured it'd be appropriate to do this real quick in just a separate video other than an actual normal video. So, what I'm here for in this one is, I'm here to say thank you. Uh, I want to personally say thank you to uh, the channel Roshank Redemption. Um, he gave me a shout out uh, recently on his uh, shout out Sunday. As a matter of fact, I'm recording this uh, several hours after uh, it went up. So, because I figured, you know, let's get it out of the way soon. Because uh, I wanted to let people know how thankful I am. But I'm thankful to Roshank Redemption for giving me a shout out on his channel. Um, I'm also thankful that he actually approached me months ago when I first started with just a long and uh, drawn out Fallout uh, New Vegas series to start my channel off with. Um, it actually means a lot. You know, um, I came across the point where. I was kind of stalling, and because of that, I was starting to second-guess myself more and more, and I do that a lot. It's uh, not one of my finer traits. Uh, so, during that, uh, you know, I, I, I thought, well, you know, well, I, I had this one person approach me to uh, get some help from another channel or whatever, some bigger channel, and... Uh, I thought better of it, it just didn't seem the path I wanted to go the way they were, or anything like that, so I inevitably turned it down, but I still wanted to make an effort to push forward with my channel and actually try to really get myself out there, so I took a shot in the dark, and I left a comment on Roshank's uh, video, uh, I think it was from a couple week, or a week or two ago, something like that, it was one of the shout out Sundays, and uh, said, you know, that I wanted to shout out, and uh, lo and behold, you know, the very next uh, shout out Sunday, he uh, very graciously uh, gave me the opportunity that I asked for, uh, said a lot of nice things, said uh, uh, things that, you know, some people might think might be mean, I doubt it, nobody's complained yet, and it's true, I he, one of the things he said was that I don't show enough energy, or I don't have as much energy as some of the other people that he was shouting out that day, and he's right, uh, normally I don't, um, I try to contain that to a degree when uh, uh, my uncle's home, he lives with me because of circumstances that I don't really feel necessary to go into at the moment. Um, maybe I'll talk about it in a later video. It's not really relevant to this one. But because of that, you know, I do have a tendency to, you know, when he's around, I record myself at a little bit of a lower octave. And sometimes, unfortunately, that does translate into me mumbling a bit and me coming off a little less energetic. So I try to be a little bit more energetic when it's just me, like this video, or video, audio, whatever. There would be a video up in the background of this, but when like right now it's just me here right now by myself with my two cats and my dog talking to you guys. So, you know, if they want to think that I'm crazy, that's fine. They can look at me weird all they want. They do it anyway. So it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> love them to death, but they're just as weird as I am anyway, so who cares? Uh... But anyway, I just, you know, I wanted to, I wanted to come in and uh, explain a few things. You know, I'm, I've talked about in some of my videos, like I said, you know, as I was starting to lose a little bit of hope in myself and feeling kind of down, especially this past week. I just, I don't know what it was, whether it was just coming off of the cold that I had or if it was, um, 
getting closer to a specific time, that time being um, one of the, the, the main reason, I'll just give you the, the basic details of the main reason why I took my hiatus for a couple months back in uh, the holiday seasons uh, from November until I think early January is when I finally came back was because my, um, my brother had passed away. Uh, fuckedly enough, the the same day that Fallout 4 came out, I was planning on doing videos, other things went wrong with that anyway, and by the end of it, I just didn't have the uh, energy or the care at the time to really deal with it. Um, so, that happened. Uh, maybe one of these days I'll be able to get to that. Um, I say um a lot, I know, my bad. But anyway, uh... The time's coming closer, you know, we, we had him cremated to his wishes, and my mom, uh, who was a very sentimental person, decided that it would probably be a good idea to go ahead and put him in the ground. He didn't want to be spread anywhere, so he just wanted to be put in the ground out on our family plot. My mom thought it'd be a good idea to do that on his birthday. His birthday is coming up on May 9th, and I'm recording this on early morning, May 2nd, almost 5 o'clock in the morning, which is, uh, you know, I'll, I'll get to that, but, um... I really say I'm a lot, damn it. Uh, so yeah, I've been in a little bit of a weird state, you know, um, this past week or so, and so I just wanted to, you know, I, like, I, like I said, I wanted to come into this video, and I wanted to actually give a big thank you to Roshank for the shout out. I want to give a just a super big thank you to all the cool people that decided to actually check out my channel and uh, give, you know, some of my videos some love. Uh, I've got, you know, at, at this point, you know, I've gotten several really nice comments about either my video is great or, you know, things that I can do to improve, people being just nice and helpful. Um, let's see. Uh, it's on one of my Subnautica videos. It'll be on the one that was probably out right before I put this video out. So, if you're watching this, go check out the previous Subnautica video that was on before this. And it will have the comments. And, uh, you know, uh, plenty of those people uh, also have their own channels. If not all of them, I think, actually. Um, whether they're Let's Players or other channels in general. Uh, that do, you know, other nifty and cool things. So I've checked a few of them out, and I recommend checking them out too. I don't really want to go into the process of mentioning them all by name because I don't want more comments to come, you know, after I get, like, by the time I get up to get more comments and miss people. I feel like that would be a little rude on my part to do that. So check the comments, um, and, you know, I'll probably leave a link to the video uh below so that you guys can go check it out and uh, give them some love too because I am so thankful to the people that came in and left me such nice comments and helpful comments and uh, were really cool about it all and uh, that you know uh, it, it, it helped lift my spirits you know I've as, like I said I've been going through a little bit of a rough patch again and just seeing it all happen all of a sudden was so cool. Yeah, I didn't get a whole lot of subscribers right now. Who knows? Maybe, you know, by the time I wake up, it'll be even more, which would be awesome. But I, I didn't get a lot, but that's not what matters. What matters is that people came, they saw, they liked, and I'm happy for it because that's what I'm here for. It's not so much a matter of, you know, getting a ton of people to watch me. I mean, yeah, okay, it kind of is because eventually I want to monetize this stuff so that I can try to make a living off it so that I'm not such a, you know, useless deadbeat. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, it just it just lifted my spirits, you know. Um, I was actually just sitting down uh, when the first comment actually came in. I was just actually uh, letting my friend in so that we could sit down and watch, uh, you know, the WWE pay-per-view payback to help date this for maybe, you know, later viewers. Um, and I got the first comment. Yeah, it's like, oh, okay, well, I'll check that, you know, when I sit back down. I stopped, I looked, I read, and I thought, Oh my god, cool, somebody commented and said, you know, they like my video, this is awesome. So, you know, I, I, I do what I do, or at least what I try to do with as many people as I can, as long as I notice a comment soon enough, as I try to comment back to them, you know, showing my gratitude and appreciation of them, you know, at least, you know, coming in and saying something, or saying something nice, or something that, you know, helps critique what I'm doing and helps me try to improve. Uh, and then the pay-per-view started, and we were watching away, and it's like, oh, 
there's another comment. Okay, so let me go check this comment and hit them back up, you know, and uh, you know, thank them for anything nice they said, which they did. Uh, and then another one came, and I was starting to get surprised. I thought, well, what in the hell is going on here? Why are, why are people suddenly coming to my channel? And then, you know, it dawned on me, like, oh, shit, I signed up for Rose um, uh, Shout Out Sunday. And I didn't think that I'd, you know, get in it that soon because I know a lot of people apply, so it actually means a lot to get to it so soon. Um, so, you know, it, it was actually really cool. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, let me let me go check this. Maybe by chance this is actually going on. So, you know, I was like, we were watching the paper review on my computer back here in my bedroom. It's like, all right, well, let's mute the thing. Let's watch the shout out video. And boom, lo and behold, second shout out me, Super Fuji. Somebody mentioned me. Somebody liked me. People liked me. So I was actually. Uh, I, I, I'm still riding the high, you know, I, you, you might be able to actually hear some actual real energy in my voice for once, uh, so I, I'm still kind of riding the high of, you know, it's just so cool, uh, Ro said a lot of really nice things, and I appreciate every word of it, and it makes me really happy, and it makes me want to keep pushing forward, and, you know, just keep getting hyped, and it kind of helps with the current situation I'm going through with, you know, putting my brother in the ground finally, and it's just kind of, I, I don't know, I, I can't, it, it, I can't really explain how happy it actually makes me that, you know, enough people came by to go ahead and say something nice or helpful to me, and it just means a lot like this. You know, I've seen a lot of people complain about the community on YouTube from this person's channel or that person's channel or whatever, you know, uh, it's just the, the community in general. Uh, so it's actually really nice to, you know, just hop on to check a comment one day and then the next thing you know, you've got several people jumping in and commenting on your video like every half an hour with such nice things, such helpful things to say, and it's really cool. Now, on to brass tacks after that, because again, you know, thanks, thanks everybody, but now on to things that I need to improve. They are right. I need to show a little bit more energy. That's going to be a little bit difficult. I am, in fact, a depressed introvert that, you know, is afraid of a lot of things overall. It's really weird to um, admit that to the internet overall but it's you know it's it, it's a thing it's you know, everybody has their little quirks and i just happen to have several uh it's not like i'm a, a complete shut-in but i'm just as happy you know staying in and doing nothing as i am going to one of my friends places to hang out for a few hours so you know i'd be happy as a shut-in wouldn't mind um gives me more time to do this uh <laughs> which is fun uh <clears throat> but yeah, uh, that's just, you know, one of the things, um, that kind of, you know, the, 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 the depression and stuff, I've talked about it before, but it, it holds me back a bit. It kind of, you know, lowers my capabilities and it's something that I'm trying to, at least for my videos, work on overcoming as much as possible. I'm trying to, you know, show more energy. I'm trying to do the commentary and all that, but it's like I said, my uncle, he lives with me, he's home often enough, so when, and my recording schedules are such shit sometimes, like, like I said, it is now 5 o'clock in the morning, and I'm recording this, the only reason why I'm being able to show so much energy is A, because I'm not actually fucking tired, because I'm a night owl, which is fun for me, I like that, I, I live better that way, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, but too, you know, it's because he's not home. He was uh, elsewhere this weekend, so I was able to actually be able to sit down and do this and uh, be able to really talk, you know, openly, freely with you guys. Because he's an older man. He sleeps and, you know, all that. And he likes to sleep. I like my sleep, too. I don't like being woken up by some idiot blathering about whatever in a video game. So, because, you know, trust me, when my... Uh, when my brother was still alive years ago, you know, he used to play Call of Duty a lot, and he'd get pissed at it 
a lot. And there was times where I was trying to sleep and I would get woken up a lot. And I would threaten to beat the shit out of him a lot. So, I understand how that feels. <laughs> and uh, I can understand not wanting that to happen. So, I need to tweak my recording schedule a little bit more, tweak my sleep schedule a little bit more so that I can probably try to be up during the day a little more often. That way I can actually start, you know, recording with more energy. Um... Sure, it'll be a little weird. Uh, sorry about that click. Damn. Uh, that spiked like crazy on the audio. Uh, sorry, I, I know it's going to be a little weird for me at first because I'm also still a little bit on the shy side about, you know, openly, openly blathering out and just saying whatever, you know, and and drawing that attention to myself, even if it is my uncle who's been like my father for most of my life. Uh Again, different story, so not going to go into it, but still, he's been my father figure for my whole life, so I'm used to him, you know, he can get loud too and all that stuff, but it's still that consequence of, you know, we live in an older house, the walls in some areas are paper fucking thin, it seems, so... Even if I shut my door, that door is a piece of shit, and it, uh, yeah, it doesn't really muffle the sound all that much so i can't get too loud and energetic when uh, he's trying to sleep so it does lead to a few problems so that's that's on me i need to you know fix that try to go to the whole be up during the day schedule and everything and be able to actually record like that because he goes to doctor's appointments and this and that often enough so i have a lot of i'd have a lot of time to myself during the day, I just need to fix it. But I've been a night owl for so many years, and despite all my best efforts of trying to fix it, I usually go back to it. So, maybe this will be my reason to actually stick with it for once. But, we'll see. I'm not going to promise anything is going to happen with that anytime soon. It takes me a while to readjust to <clears throat> normal people time. And then sometimes I can slip back in with like back into my normal stuff within a week, or it takes longer, like several months. Don't know. It's uh, just being up during the daytime is so boring. But whatever. Um. But yeah, that's that's that for that part. Um, on to the audio quality. Uh, as you can probably tell, this audio is a little bit different. Uh, I'm gonna be laying it over. Probably me dicking around in Minecraft for a little bit or something, um, uh, because why not? At least I can get some kind of Minecraft up on my channel finally. But uh, yeah, as far as the uh, actual audio stuff goes, like I'm recording this on Audacity right now. I'm just going to pin it over uh, some video and just leave it at that. Because uh, if I was actually playing a game at this time, I'd be completely distracted and wouldn't be able to actually focus on this one bit. So, you know... It's, it's, it's better this way, I think, uh, for a little bit of a talkie to <laughs> That was stupid. Sorry. A talk, uh, just a talk. We'll just go with just a talk. Um, there I go again. Okay. So, the audio, though, I plan on... Uh, I probably mentioned this in a video, but I plan on getting a new microphone eventually. Uh, it's, again, I really don't have any money. That's a long story in and of itself. But I don't have any money right now, and I'm looking to just... Go big or go home, and if I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to be doing this as right as I possibly can. So I want to get, you know, one of the better mics on the market. One that a lot of different YouTubers use, the Blue Yeti, I think it's called. I have it up on one of my browsers on Amazon, sitting there waiting for me. Just waiting for me to finally snag that some bitch. But in the meantime, we just had to do with my Turtle Beach headset. Uh, cause that's the best I can do right now. I have another freestanding mic. Uh, the quality's not bad, but it's not much better than my headset. So, plus, it, it, it's, I don't know, it's just, I don't have anywhere on my desk at the moment to set it. I don't have the, uh, the little arm thing for microphone or anything like that. Cause, uh, you know, surprise, surprise, that costs money too. So... It, the audio is going to have to wait, but it'll get there. Uh, hopefully sooner than later, but this month I've got a lot of other expenses that need to be taken care of first and foremost. Uh, some for fun, some not so much. 
and just other life things in general. So that's that for that. Uh, so the audio will have to wait. Maybe, maybe just dear God, please, maybe before this, but maybe sometime around summertime, like actual summertime, middle of summer, something like that. So it's a couple months, maybe that I'll actually be able to do something about it, but which kind of sucks, but that's just, you know, them's the breaks folks. Um, there I go again. Fuck. I'm going to keep catching myself and being pissed about it every time. I swear. Anyway, on to the video quality stuff. Uh, I wanted to touch on that real quick too. Uh, my dog is snoring in the background. That's funny. Anyway, the uh, uh, video quality, uh, I realized that I had, like, I was, I was recording with home broadcast software, I think it's called, yeah, OBS, you know. I can't remember exactly what it stands for, but I'm pretty sure that's accurate enough. Uh, I was recording with OBS, and at one point in my early times tinkering with it to set it, to start recording things, I had set the uh, FPS record rate uh, apparently a little too high. Now, it worked for some things, but overall, a lot of games like Subnautica and other games that have a lot of motion in them like that came up pretty laggy. Subnautica and uh, The Forest, um, just for good examples. And it really shocked me, though, as I thought it wouldn't be a problem when I played Stardew Valley and Stardew Valley was lagging. Uh, some of you might have noticed if you actually watched my Stardew Valley series that in the last episode, uh, there wasn't any lag hiccups that I know about that I can think of. And that's because I actually reset the FPS settings for recording on OBS because my computer can only do so well. So hopefully, just hopefully, what that means is... More different series, not you know, not having to go back and fall back on Rise of Nations or Age of Mythology or God forbid another long ass series of Galactic Civilization Three. I love that game so much; it's so fun. I play it with uh, Ted all the time. But when it comes down to it, we just get focused and we do not talk much. So if I do another one of those, I'm gonna have to tweak how I edit things. Um. On another note for hardware or software stuff, I want to look into a new editing program. That's not on the top of the list right now because I can still do enough of what I need to with the uh, NCH Software uh, Video Pad Pro Edition that I have that I bought when I was working with a different YouTube thing. Uh, that I won't really go into because that's dead. It's it's dead. We took it out back and shot it a while back, so that's a, a thing. But uh, hmm, what else? Oh right. Um, I want to be able to get into Xbox One games. I don't have many. I kind of inherited my Xbox One from my brother, and he had a lot of games that I didn't really play. So it's kind of, eh. but. And I haven't been, and I haven't exactly done a great job keeping up on the new console games. Because I'm more of a PC gamer, but I do love some of the console games. So I've got to look into being able to get some of those as well. Um, there I go again, motherfucker. I got to stop doing that. You know, my fifth grade teacher would be so disappointed in me and how many times I were, use the word um in this fucking video audio th thing. Uh, <clears throat> seriously, he'd be pissed. But, yeah, uh, I want to be able to start recording some Xbox One stuff. I have most of the equipment I need. Some of it I got a few years ago because I wanted to actually start doing this a long time ago, but didn't get the opportunity to, didn't have everything set up so that I could. So, and now I'm in a better place and have a lot more equipment to work with and a lot more games to work with. So... Uh, yeah, as far as that's concerned, I'm just missing, like, one cord that I need, an aux cord, basically. Uh, there are, like, a few bucks on Amazon, so I just gotta look into get one of those, probably sometime this month, hopefully, despite the other expenses that I have. Hopefully, I'll be able to snag one of those for a few bucks, and then I'll be able to start recording some of that. I have, uh, as I, as you probably took note, as me mentioning that I watched the WWE pay-per-view, I am a wrestling fan. So I want to be able to play some of the wrestling games with uh, my uh, good friend Curtis, who was the one that was here wa watching wrestling with me. 
and uh, we have some ideas of how we want to do things for uh, that. That'll be really interesting. So we want to be able to do that. Um, I really have no idea else that like what else I'm gonna be able to play. I plan on I guess doing a uh, maybe a a Mass Effect playthrough, just all three of the games, you know, because I figure that'll be fun. I still have a 360, so I can, you know, set that up when I need it and everything and work with that as best I can. Uh, but I'm still a little ways out on getting that done. Um, I really don't have a lot of console games, honestly. As far as other games, like PC games, I plan on, I've talked about this in another Let's Play before, I plan on, uh, trying to do Deus Ex Invisible War game uh, because I loved that game years ago and it was old then. So I want to see it. Now, this is assuming it actually works. I haven't gotten around to testing it like I thought I was going to, but I need to test it to make sure it's actually going to play on my system right now because I tried with Fallout 3 and Fallout 3 was not happy with my system and didn't want to play. So, yeah. Uh, I got to do the same thing with uh, Thief Deadly Shadows. I think it was the third iteration in the Thief series. Uh, I have all of them, uh, but... The only ones I've played is the newest one that came out a couple years ago and Deadly Shadows. And I really want to go back and play Deadly Shadows again. And then maybe, just maybe, if it's going to cooperate with me, then I'll be able to sit down and actually play uh, the fourth iteration of the game too and be able to have fun with that. Mm, so, you know, it could all be very, very interesting or go very, very horribly. I don't know. We will see. Uh, I did also mention that I've got another game coming soon called Solaris. Remember correctly that me and Ted are gonna look into playing. We're gonna see if it'd be an interesting playthrough. There might be a lot of cuts and edits to that to make that fun. I don't know. It's supposed to, it's being made by like the same guys that made uh, Crusader Kings and Crusader Kings 2 and all the expansions that came out for that game. So Crusader Kings 2 was it's 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 a fun game in its own right, but it's a very slow game. Uh, slower than Galactic Civilization, even it seems. So it's kind of you know, we'll we'll see. It's not really something I had anticipated to put a you know a video up of something like that before. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know. Uh, but other than that, at the moment, uh, other than trying to actually get some Minecraft in as well, finally. Uh, then I really don't know what else I'm going to do at the moment. Hopefully, uh, another Xbox game will come out that's like total hype and I want to get my hands on. Uh, otherwise, it's just a matter of trying to upgrade my computer so that I can get newer PC games to run with and all that as well. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, uh, I hate to say it, but this is, you know about usual for me i let this video go on way longer than i had anticipated and so i think now would be a good time to end it i just want to say again you know thanks to all the cool people that came in and said hey and all the other nice things and helpful things and thanks to you know roshank redemption uh if you guys didn't come here from his channel when you found me Go check him out. He's got some good content too. Uh, a lot of he's got some Let's Play series and a lot of you know like informational videos about different video games, which is pretty cool. I learned some neat things from watching some of his videos. So yeah, I just want to say you know thank you again to everybody for lifting me up a bit, you know, and and uh, and dear God, letting me ride this motherfucking hype all night, like. There's a reason why, despite a lack of sleep today, that I am still up at 5 o'clock in the morning. So, you know, that's you guys. So, thanks again. And uh, I will see you guys next time, or you'll see me, or whatever the fuck it is that we do. And remember, stay weird, y'all. Bye.